hands down, this is the best Ash vs. Team Rocket that we have ever received. Hello everyone, Trey Man one here. We're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, guys. Today's episode, well, yesterday's episode, had me so pumped up. My gosh, it was an Ash vs. Team Rocket. Basically, the Ghost Trial. My goodness, this battle was simply amazing. The battle has finally been settled. It was animation was beautiful. But before I get into what I thought about the episode, let's go ahead and do a quick summary. The episode began with Team Rocket basically practicing their Z move. Also, Ash and Pikachu with Lycanroc were doing some training. They were doing a quick training battle, and they noticed that when Pikachu used the Electro Ball, that there was something wrong. That it wasn't landing its hit, but instead it was just bursting into like a lot of sparks. And we was wondering what was going on. Ash really didn't know, but it was very interesting to see that. Ash then wonders, will Nanu be able to let him take on the trial and grand trial now? Acerola says, well, you've gotten pretty strong, so I believe Nanu will. So they head over to Nanu's to basically go ask, can Ash take on the trial? Before Ash got there, though, Team Rocket went and asked Nanu if they knew where basically Ash and Pikachu were because they were ready to take on Pikachu so that they can catch Pikachu. Nanu says, basically, go to the Mega Mart. He's basically lying to, you, to Team Rocket once again because Ash really wasn't there. But it actually all works out in the next scene. Right when Nanu thought he could get a break, then Ash comes in saying, ah, Nanu, I'm ready to take on my trial. Nanu's like, ah. Oh. Then he just thinks, go to the Mega Mart, and there's some trainers there waiting for you, basically. Nanu basically set up the Ash versus Team Rocket fight, and I really did like that. Like, he set it up like that. And I even like that he says, there's a trainer with a Mimikyu, considering the fact that Mimikyu is the totem Pokemon that you fight in that trial. So it's just like, it worked out perfectly, in my opinion. I really do like that a lot. Once Ash and the Acer Roller get to the Mega Mart, Poi Poi ends up starting to play with some shopping carts. The shopping cart ends up almost hitting Team Rocket, and the two basically meet up and get ready for their battle. What I really liked about this battle is that it was a fair battle between Ash and Team Rocket. Normally, Team Rocket are using, like, all their Pokemon, and Ash is like, you know, it's not, it's not really a fair battle. This is a fair single battle. Ash versus Jesse, Mimikyu versus Pikachu, and I really like that it was a fair battle that they were having. Normally, they would, it would be trying to unfair, they'll use a net and stuff, but nope, they actually have a fair battle, and I really do like that about Team Rocket here, is that, yeah, they're actually being fair, so that was really cool. Team Rocket were very, like, they, they basically thought they won the whole battle because they got Z-moves, but Ash is going to show, hey, Z-moves is the only thing to a battle. You also have to have some skills, which actually Mimikyu did show. Mimikyu had landed a lot of good hits in this battle, even knocking Pikachu out of his Thunderbolt, and it was like, my gosh, Mimikyu was really skilled in this battle, and I really did like how this battle played through. Also, in one scene, Beware actually caught on to what Team Rocket were doing, and how long those were fake, those were fake Team Rocket, so Beware ends up heading out to go find Team Rocket as well. We also get to see Ash's friends ironically talking about Mimikyu. And we get this nice scene of Lana scaring Sophocles and stuff. It was a really nice scene to see basically Ash's friends. We haven't seen them in quite a while. So it was a good scene as well. Ash and Pikachu also noticed once again, Electro Ball. Sometimes it would actually work and sometimes it would start to break up again. And it was like, what's going on with Electro Ball here? Because it was very interesting to see Electro Ball break up like this. Oh, and I... The next scene is coming up in a few more moments. Really surprised me. Beware actually ended up showing up and was about to take Team Rocket away. But Mimikyu and Beware have a conversation and Mimikyu's like, let's let me finish this battle first. And Beware actually sits down and waits. And I'm like, whoa, Beware. This is a new side of Beware because normally Beware just runs on in and takes Team Rocket and just, just doesn't care. But nope, Beware was actually patient and waited to see how the outcome of the battle went. Iron Tail and Wood Hammer Clash was simply amazing in this battle. Pikachu and Mimikyu were going left and right with Iron Tails and Wood Hammers, even running on top of like the little shelves and stuff. Just they were going all out in this battle. It was so amazing. And once again, Mimikyu shows that he still hates Pikachu with a passion. Literally trying to crush Mimikyu with some of the shelves. It was going crazy. Things were starting to look down for Ash at one point, where Mimikyu was actually just going back to back with Shadow Claw, Woodhammer, and Playrough. I'm surprised Mimikyu didn't use Shadow Ball in this battle at any, but 
Yep, we got to see like Mimikyu was just going all out and it was starting to look a little down for that. Once Team Rocket noticed this, they basically began to go with their Z move. And I really did like the emotion that Ash had calling out for Pikachu. Hang on, I'll show you guys in this clip right here. Team Rocket's theme song was playing, and man, I really do like this song. I remember we first got it back in the X and Y series as an ending song. I was so hyped for it because it was such a great song in my opinion. To hear that theme song play again in this episode, why they used their Z move was simply amazing. As Mimikyu was coming down with the Mimikyu Z move, Peek Ash actually commanded Pikachu to use Electro Ball one more time. Basically, I'm guessing so that Electro Ball could hit Mimikyu before Mimikyu could have got a chance to use the Z move. But it didn't, and Mimikyu ended up still using it. I loved how Team Rocket were looking at the Mimikyu Z move. Like, my gosh, what type of Z move is this? Because even Meowth especially, because Meowth fainted. Seeing Mimikyu just take Pikachu under the cloth and just started beating him up, and Meowth was just like, oh gosh, that poor Pikachu. It was crazy, because in fact, how, you know, Meowth and Mimikyu have been in this series with the whole cloth gag. Once Mimikyu finished using the Z move, it turned out that Pikachu was actually okay. And the reason for that is because it had learned Electro Wave. I was so shocked in this scene. Seeing Pikachu learn Electro Wave, I would not have expected that at all. The tables had turned into battle. Ash goes for another Electro Wave with Pikachu. And it basically covered up Mimikyu. Then Ash go, decides to go a step further and use the Pikachu Z move. And I was like, my gosh, Ash. Mimikyu was already taking a lot of damage from that Electro Web being on top of it, trapping it. But nope, Ash has to go another step and finish off Team Rocket for sure. 10 million volt Thunderbolt is used. And the explosion was so big this time that it literally made a hole through the roof of the building. And it was like, my gosh, that was a strong Z move. Once Pikachu uses that Z move, Mimikyu faints. With Acerola announcing Ash and Pikachu as the winners of this battle. After that, Beware ends up taking Team Rocket back to basically their home. And Ash tells Nanu that he won the trial. Nanu says, as a promise, now I have to, to give you the grand trial. And that's where we get to see this nice moment of Ash and Nanu looking at each other as they're getting ready to face off each other in the next episode. Now I'll give my thoughts over the episode. Overall, this was the most hyped Ash versus Team Rocket that we've ever received. It was kind of nice to see Ash and Team Rocket go basically go off on the, like go for official battle for once. Considering the fact that normally when we see them battle, it's always like a whole bunch of Pokemon. Like Team Rocket using all theirs and Ash using a few, or Ash using all a lot of his and Team Rocket using a few. Like it was really nice to see Ash and Team Rocket actually go for an official battle. Considering the fact that normally yeah, it's just like. Team Rocket, they always cheating. Either they call out some nets or have a cage. It's always so crazy to consider the fact that, you know, it's Team Rocket and they're trying to catch Pikachu. But here, they actually have an official battle all the way up until somebody faints. And this feels like this was like the finishing off for the Pikachu and Mimikyu rivalry. Mimikyu seemed that he has to admit his defeat, that he actually lost, and that Pikachu is the stronger opponent. Mimikyu, however, did put up a good fight. And I was extremely actually kind of sad when Mimikyu lost because you can just see it looking like, it it, it looks like it, it was like ashamed of itself that, it, yeah, it lost to Pikachu. Like, even though it was probably just fainted, when Beware picked it up, it looked it was so sad, the music and everything, and Beware just cuddling Mimikyu. I felt bad for Mimikyu in the scene because Mimikyu lost, and yeah, even though I, I was rooting for Ash the whole way, it was just, I kind of felt bad for Mimikyu as well. Now, Pikachu learning Electro Web was the biggest shocker of this whole episode because I really thought that Pikachu was going to have Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Iron Tail, and Electro Ball for the whole Sun and Moon series. But nope, they got rid of Electro Ball and replaced it with Electro Web. I see a lot of potential with Electro Web, considering the fact that we've seen it. Like, the anime always does some crazy new shenanigans with moves. And as we can see here, Pikachu used Electro Ball as a shield, basically, as a protect almost, if you will. And considering the fact that Pikachu has a protecting like move that, like that, that he can also use as an attack, it would be pretty cool. And also considering the fact that the way that it was used when it hit Mimikyu, it covered up Mimikyu and it was cons consistently shocking Mimikyu, also slowing it down. So I feel like this move has a lot of potential to be a really powerful move that Ash can use. 
I can't wait to see more of Electro Web throughout the series. And, yep, I'm glad that Pikachu got some more development like this because that was really cool. I really wasn't expecting that at all. Now, one thing I was kind of confused about is that even though, yes, Ash and Pikachu did win the official trial, he wasn't given the Ghost Type Z crystal. And I wonder, I was actually hoping that he would because... That, that could mean, like, Rowley Riley probably could evolve into a Decidueye, considering the fact that Decidueye is a ghost type. But since he didn't get it here, either they're going to hold it off until Nanu goes, okay, here's the Z-Crystal Z for winning the trial, and here's the Z-Crystal for winning my grand trial. Either that or Ash just isn't going to get the ghost type Z-Crystal. I was thinking Mimikyu would have gave it to Ash, sort of like how Mimikyu gave Jesse the Mimikyu MZ. But that didn't happen, so... I'm wondering, like, what, what's, what's going to happen? Like, is Ash going to get the Ghost Z Crystal in the next episode or not? We'll just have to wait and see on that. The animation throughout the whole episode was fluid and smooth, especially throughout the battle, including the Pikachu and Mimikyu clash, both Z moves that were used, and just even the Electro Web. It was just so fluid throughout this whole episode. I really did love the animation of this episode. I would highly recommend this episode, especially if you like a good battle. This episode was a full battle episode, basically, and it was a very great one, especially to see Pikachu go all out again. Overall, I really did enjoy this episode. It was a really great episode for both developing Team Rocket and Ash at the same time. It was nice to see like Ash and Team Rocket go at it like this and to see the new Z moves. So, Ash also asks, us, what, what's up with this Z crystal, the peak Ash MZ? I also like that he questioned it, and let's hope that we get some more answers in the future for that Z-move. Overall, let me know in the comment section down below, what did you guys think of this episode? Overall, I enjoyed it, from The Clash to Electro Web and everything. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Trey Man 1, peace out!